Yeah, good evening from Anaheim, where Loretta Sanchez has only been in the race for U.S. Senate for three days now, but she's already making waves within the Democratic Party for what she said and what she's now done. It happened during a gathering of the Indian American Caucus at the Democratic State Convention. U.S. Senate candidate Loretta Sanchez was telling how she'd recently received an invitation from someone within the Indian American community. I'm going to his office thinking that I'm going to go meet with, uh, right? You think that Indian the man who filmed Sanchez's gesture with his cell phone said several people in the room found the gesture insensitive to Native Americans. Oh, I was shocked and appalled that she would make the disparaging comments about Native Americans that way. It's just very undemocratic. A short time later, Sanchez's opponent, Kamala Harris, was told about the gesture. Um, I, you know, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Except that um, that would that that that's that was shocking. That's shocking. Sanchez, you made a gesture that we some people consider today. that gesture you made it as offensive. Hey, 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 hey. Do you do you feel like you took that back? We do not want Camilla. Earlier in the day, Sanchez claimed that she was a victim of pressure tactics from Democrats who didn't want her to run. Well, I will just say that there were plenty of phone calls asking me not to. There were plenty of phone calls. Uh, trying to sweeten the pot, the, the pot, and there were plenty of um, sort of threatening things. But, you know, as I have told everybody, I, I was not going to be pushed in, nor I was going to be pushed out. And Sanchez uh, declined to say, declined to name any names about who was making these threats against her. Live in Anaheim, David Beanie, KCRA 3 News.